Hello everybody, and welcome to this very first Blender tutorial. Now some of you might be wondering, why is the very first tutorial going over 19 keyboard shortcuts? Well, if you don't already know, Blender is mostly hotkey based, which means that many of the functions in this program require hotkeys to use. So that is why we're going to go over the 19 most important shortcuts that you will use in Blender. So without further ado, let's begin. Shortcut number zero is a bonus shortcut, which is the delete button, because we're going to get rid of this cube. Alright, so the first shortcut is Shift A, which allows you to place down a mesh. So we're going to select a cube for this. That is shortcut number one. Shortcut number two is A, and A either deselects everything or selects everything. So we're going to hit A again to select everything. And then we're going to hit it again to deselect everything. Shortcut number three. Well, this is actually a combination. So left click selects where you are going to place your objects. So where the cursor is. Right click selects individual objects. And as an add-on to that, shift right click allows you to select multiple objects without deselecting the previous object and the mouse wheel allows you to zoom in and out and holding on to the mouse wheel while moving your mouse allows you to rotate your view alright fourth shortcut so as you can see when you left click you have your origin set everywhere and you don't know how to get it back to center well shift C brings the origin back to center which means now when you do shift A and you add a mesh let's say UV sphere it will always spawn at center because that is where your origin is. Shortcut number five is G and what G does is G allows you to drag objects so I just hit G and I am moving my mouse and I can move this object anywhere I want. Shortcut number six if you hit S you can scale your object you can make it bigger or smaller or very much smaller Shortcut number seven is R, and R allows you to rotate objects. One other thing that you can do with R, S, and G is if you want to rotate, scale something, or move something on a particular axis, just hit R, and then hit either X, Y, or Z to transform it on that axis. So we'll hit X to rotate it on this axis. And if we want to do it while scaling, we can hit S, and then X, Y, or Z, we'll hit Y to scale it on the Y axis. And then to move something on a particular axis, we'll hit G, and then let's say Z. G and Z to move it on the Z axis. Shortcut number eight is Alt-G. And what Alt-G does is, if you have an object and you move it, and you want to move it back to the origin where it's spawned, just select Alt-G, and it will move it back to its origin. Shortcut number nine is Alt R. So let's say we rotate this object a bit and we want it to be rotated back to its default position. Hit Alt R and it will be rotated. Shortcut number 10 is Alt S. If we scale this object and we want to move it back to its default scale, just hit Alt S and it moves it back to its default shape. Shortcut number 11 is the tab shortcut and that brings it from object mode to edit mode. Edit mode allows you to edit individual faces on an object. Speaking of editing individual faces, shortcut number 12 is E, which is the extrude key. So if we were to right click here on face select mode, or I'm sorry, left click on face select, and we right clicked on a side, we can hit E to extrude an object on the axis that it is facing. Or, we can select another axis such as the Y axis or the X axis or the Z axis. But let's stick to the X axis because the other two axes would be a bit weird. Or we can select another face and we can extrude it up. We can select yet another face and extrude it to the side. And voila, we have a wonderfully shaped object of sorts. Shortcut number 13 is one of my favorite shortcuts, and that is the W shortcut. So if we were to select every single face and then hit W, we have a bunch of options here. 
but the best option here by far is subdivide left click on subdivide and you can get more faces on your object if we were to hit it again we can subdivide it again and just keep doing it until we have thousands and thousands of faces so let's do control Z to undo a couple of those so if we want to we can select an individual face and subdivide that so if we want to subdivide this face we can subdivide that and not to mention each face is equal so we can edit any one of these faces we can hit E to extrude we can move this out a bit we can extrude it again we could do so much with this alright so shortcut number 14 is the C shortcut so if we were to hit C we can select faces just by dragging our mouse over it so if we want to select faces using a circular draw option we have that option shortcut number 15 is the B shortcut and what B does is B allows you to draw a box over certain faces to select them so we can select these faces here or we can select a tiny amount of faces up on the left corner shortcut number 16 is the shortcut that allows you to choose between vertex edge and face mode so if we hit control tab we can choose between vertex edge and face mode let's try edge mode so in edge mode we can right click on individual edges in vertex mode we can right click on individual vertexes and in face mode we can select different faces shortcut number 17 is also one of my favorite shortcuts and that is the loop cut by using control R so if we were to hit control R you'll see a pink line appear so a loop cut basically creates edges on that pink line so if we were to create one edge along that entire side right there we can do that or if we want more of them we can rotate our scroll wheel to get more left click to confirm where you want them now either you can right click to center them or you can left click to select the exact location where they are right now let's right click to center them so now as you can see we have a bunch of edges that were not there before shortcut number 18 is quite a complex shortcut but it's very useful this sets the object origin so to start let's hit tab to go back into object mode and we will hit control shift alt c so control shift alt c so now we have four options here we can do the geometry to origin origin to geometry origin to 3d cursor or origin to center of mass for example let's hit origin to center of mass and see what happens so basically nothing happens visually but if we rotate this object we will see that the object is rotated at the center of mass but previously since we did a bunch of extrusions that wasn't the case before so now the center of rotation is its center of mass and last but not least we have keyboard shortcut number nine which is shift D which is the duplicate function so if we did shift D as you can see we now have another one so if we want to duplicate something and then move it along a certain axis we would do shift D and then X Y or Z let's do Y so as you can see we can move it along a certain axis so there you have it 19 keyboard shortcuts that you must know to start using blender this is tutorial one of the blender tutorial series thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial